Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and welcome to the 30 days of automation in testing. Guys, this is day 9 and in this video, we are going to learn a different concept which is how to parse a XML response in Postman. Right? I am getting lots of uh, requests for it. I'm going to show you a practical demo how you can parse an XML using Postman. Right? So if you are excited, so let's get started. Right? Right. Uh, so uh, before starting, just wanted to let you know that, OK, uh, there are like a couple of uh, links. If you want, uh, if you are interested, uh, go, if you want to see all the tasks related to automation testing that we are doing in this 30 days, go to these links. Uh, you can go to day nine for discussion. Uh, if you want to learn more about the automation concepts and all, go to Testing Academy, join us. We have 1200 plus members on Facebook to keep on discussing about the new tools and uh, API testing, automation concepts, Selenium, Cybers, right? Uh, I'll recommend you to go ahead. If you're interested in learning API testing, especially uh, there's a beginner series, which is sdat.to, which is software developer in test, sdat.to, it means two words, right? So remember the short name, right? So sdat.to slash 30 days slash API, uh, you can watch the beginner series. If you want to learn medium, medium level, which is uh, go to sdat.to slash YouTube slash postman in that case. More links, uh, I'll recommend you to go to sdat.to slash join to join our community. So let's see uh, how you can parse an exam response in Postman. So let's open the Postman in that case. Uh, let's, uh, here it is. So I have already prepared a demo for you guys. And so that's what we are doing. So uh, we are using a simple uh, SOAP service, which is basically returns an XML in that case. Right. So this is a W3 schools demo. And uh, but what we need to do is that most of the time I have already told you in the previous world uh, video, right? So works in a way where you need to send an envelope in that. Case. So you need to send a body. The method we are using is post STP method is post. And in this soap, everything's basically where whenever we are sending, we need to send them in XML format. And the XML format that we need to send is the form of envelope. So it starts with envelope. And after that, we have a body, we can have headers, right? We can have some optional parameter also, right? So as of now, uh, we are just sending. So uh, this is a key. Uh, you can say uh, if we talk about an XML, XML is mostly the tags, right? So the, the tag here is soap hyphen envelope. So this is a key, right? So similarly, uh, if we have in the JSON, so JSON, we have, we, you can have alternate for this is soap colon envelope. So that is a key actually. Right. Right. So uh, what we are doing is that we are basically passing that Fahrenheit and temperature and we are sending to the server and server will return in the basically it will convert it and it will apply in a formula and it will return in the Celsius. So uh, what I have done, I have uh, entered the 100.04 and it returns that 38 Celsius. Right. So the result is 38 in that case. And again, see the response. Everything is in envelope form and body will contain your results and in the body you have further tags that you can uh, check it out now uh, the since the response in xml so how do you send this uh, request let me show you so make sure uh, uh, make sure the url is this i'm going to give you instruction uh, instruction text file also so that you can use uh, the url is this post method that we are using you, you need to mention the xml here as well as in the headers path, go to headers and content type is text XML. Make sure that that is the thing. Right. And now you need to send this body. So how this body looks like we have envelope tag and in the envelope tag, we have a body tag. And here we are basically mentioning the uh, Fahrenheit, uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius. We want to call that function and we are passing a parameter which is Fahrenheit in that case. Make sense? Cool. Uh, so let's see uh, what how we have basically parsed this XML in that case. And I have written a simple test case, which basically verifies if I pass 100.04 in Fahrenheit, it will return me 38 in the Celsius, right? So uh, what you can do is that very it's in the Postman, it's very simple. Uh, you can use XML to JSON, right? If you understand this parsing of JSON, you can convert all the response in JSON in that case. So you can use XML to JSON and this is the uh, object, which is this is the response that will automatically return. So all the things that here, right, it will be convert, it will be available here 
in that case right so now you will have a json object that you can parse so let me show you uh, how this uh, json object looks like go to and uh, let's send this request i have right so uh, let let's do one thing let's add a console here so you can add console to check check the results also so let me copy paste here okay double copy paste and right let's send it again and let's open the console right so now uh, this is the json response and the key for the first key where we have is soap column envelope and the value so the value is again an object in json which contains dollar and soap body so soap body is again a key which contain nested a nested uh, key value pair which is again fahrenheit and response and again we have a fahrenheit or celsius so which is the 38 so how do i get to this 38 in that case right it's very simple uh it's very simple that uh, how you parse a json in that case right so you take take a json object and in the square bracket we need to mention the first key so the first key is soap and colon envelope and after that uh, and again we have fahrenheit to celsius that we can mention the key here and after that we have fahrenheit to celsius result which is the last this one and that we are checking with the two dot equal to 38 which is a again a postman in built uh, chiria similar assertion framework right and uh, so we have successfully sent it and as you can see our test case is passing it means everything works fine right so in a nutshell what you can do is that you can always convert xml into the json and json yet that you need yet that i have already explained in the previous video how to use uh especially so you can use square brackets single ones if it is an object if it is an array you need to use square brackets at the index of an array uh, and also you can also use dot but i will recommend you to go with the square bracket it works most of the time right thanks for watching so that's how you can parse your uh, xml in postman and i have uh, i believe you have learned something new in this video and don't forget if you all want to learn about the api testing go to those series uh, so let me pull up the links again so trust me guys these are some awesome resources for you especially related to the api testing i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye